Skaggs. Here. Alderman Zerwood. Here. Alderman Stewart. Here. Alderman Jokers. Here. Alderman Steiger. Here. Alderman Oakenfuss. Here. Alderwoman Blankfield. Here. Alderman Ross. Here. Mayor, we have a quorum. Mayor, we have a quorum. Thank you. Hi. Well, I'll just say just for anybody that's here, Alderman. All the woman Broomfield is going to have to uh, communicate by writing the seat. So. Okay. Um, Jamie Inman is not going to be able to. What? Oh. 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 Damn. Uh, sorry. Approve uh, the agenda. agenda. Mayor, do you want to move that to the end or do that now? The street closure. Why don't we just do it whenever yeah. Stephanie is up there? We'll just do it all at once. Because she's, she's going to hand it. Let's do that. Okay. With, a, with, um, the, what, with the amendment? As, 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 as amended? Yeah, absolutely. I thought, We're going I to move a, a replacement for Jamie. Uh, Stephanie's going to talk to us about the street closure, so we will just do it under the stat, under while Stephanie's up there. Okay. That's okay with everybody? Yes. Okay. All in favor of the uh, amended agenda? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Thank you. All right. We'll go um, right into the city administrator's report. Hold on. We have to make a payment to community service. Uh, in, in our work session, I informed you that we are in discussions with Lakeland about our insurance, and we had a meeting, and we hope that that will result in uh, lower premiums. Uh, we had pre-construction meetings with Joe Kirst on Westwood. Uh, everybody understands that the communication with the residents on that street is critical. The engineer understands, the contractor understands. We put out the notices today about the works commencing uh, next Monday. Uh, we expect to keep the road open for traffic uh, to the maximum extent possible, although it will be inevitable that the road will be closed for certain periods of time. Uh, there will never be an all-day closure, and uh, we'll, 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 we'll make sure that the residents stay informed as when those closures will, will occur. Uh, we talked a lot about sequencing the project to minimize the inconvenience to people, and hopefully it will go as planned. It's a 60-day contract, so if the notice to proceed uh, is August 20th, then except now I think it's, it's Monday. Um, you know, it, it's probably not 60 days of work, it, 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 depending on, on weather. So hopefully they can get it done in, in 40 days or so. Um, the, uh, I'll let Teddy talk about the sign committee, except that uh, we, uh, we, we did order the signs pursuant to the anticipated grant. Uh, not ordered it, put out requests for bids, and we sent it out to six uh, sign contractors, uh, whether we just local and in the area uh, for those 16, 16 signs of, of that nature that, that, that you've seen. Um, you recall that we uh, have to change our financial management software. So uh, as it stands today, this is the order of implementation for, for the changeover in, in software. Uh, we've uh, purchased a new server that we needed, a Windows server. And uh, it's it's in place, and um, and so everything appears to be going on as planned. Uh, most of you have noted the presence of a new sweeper in our community. Um, the uh, Monday, uh, John Piku, who has been designated along with Dave as the two people who will be operating it, uh, took uh, took it out for a, a test drive without uh, any accompaniment, except Dave was following him. And uh, got familiar with the equipment. And Tuesday, the factory rep came in, and they went over the um, kind of operational details and what you do and how you do it. And I met with John afterwards and said, "Do you feel like you need additional training?" And he says, "You know, I, I said I, I don't think I think he said, I think I've got it." He said, "But you know, I'm not a mechanic." And I said, "Well, you're not, we're not going to ask you to be a mechanic, but you will have to service it and make sure it stays in." In good operating condition, and he knows he knows how to do that now. So uh, I think we're we're in good shape. And uh, the only other thing I'd like to report to you that's not here is that uh, 
our treasurer, Sue Swice's grandfather died, and uh, she was planning on being here for our work session earlier, but uh, his, uh, what, his Tam Pam will tell you what the schedule is. He's being laid out on... Sunday from 4 to, at, four to 8 at Bossler's, and then burials Monday at 10. Any questions? Okay. Um, go right into the uh, staff reports. Terry? Uh, any? Mayor, I'm just here for uh, questions anybody might have. Uh, you'll get my full written report at the next meeting. successful in, in getting the new valve installed on Washington Street so that we could do that fire hydrant this week. The backhoe broke. Uh, we had to work on the backhoe and then the company that was going to do that work left and so we've got that rescheduled. Uh, yes. um, Pine and Park, there was some work done. I don't know if it was water or sewer or just streets or what, but um, I've gotten quite a few complaints about the uh, finished uh, is there going to be something else done to um, the patch there where it was dug up? Uh, D Dave, Dave's crew normally does a good job patching those back. I haven't looked at the patch. What, what is the plate now? Uh, is it kind of, I think it was, it was fairly a water low. Leak. Yeah, it was a water leak. Is what it was. Okay. It was a very um, large water leak. I, I think no, the, but I mean, what, what is the, the finished work? The, um, the, I guess it was concrete, I think. Yeah, uh, it's a concrete It's patch. kind of a, a really low spot, and they were... Um, I mean, they didn't finish it to grade with the I rest of the road? I, I haven't noticed it. I've, I've yeah. been out there. Yeah, I've gotten two people ask me about it. So. Well, let me go look at it yeah. tomorrow. Pine and Park. Yeah, no <coughs> Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <coughs> Stephanie. Hello. My report in front of you. Um, some information. July was not a kind month for tourism. Uh, the uh, temperatures certainly had a lot to bear with that. We had a lot of triple digit days. Um, so we are down 17 percent from July 2012 to July 2011. But we're still where we were at this time year to date in comparison. Just for the month. Yes. Um, and in that, I'll, I'll kind of touch on this in the budget report, two of our historic homes do not have air conditioning. And when the temperatures get to a certain temperature inside the house, they have to close for the safety of the guests and the safety of their staff. And so that kind of went in with our, our budget, our, our funds. We were not selling passports. We were pretty aggressive with, as you know, the staff was pretty aggressive at the Welcome Center and letting people know if they purchased them in the morning, they needed to go to those two particular homes in the morning before they would be closed. Um, so some people opted not to purchase passports. Uh, some did and, you know, followed the routine and we haven't had any complaints at the Welcome Center, um, thankfully. Uh, the expenses are slightly higher when you're comparing 2012 to July of 2011 and that is with the uh, cooperative advertising grant that was not in my budget for last year where it is in this year and that advertising has hit for the fourth quarter. Um, the two homes that were closing, uh, the Bull Duke House I know was closed for five days in the month of July. Felix Valley was closed far more often. Um, they have much stricter standards on the temperatures with the state historic site. Uh, good news though is we still have a lot of interest in the town and this is reflected within our, our web report. Uh, the trend is continuing. We have an extremely sharp increase in visitors to the website from July 2012 compared to 2011, and I included with the report uh, a second report that's it's a, a flow report, and that shows where people start on the website, what page they go to the most, and then where they go with each incremental click. Um, so this kind of gives us a little bit of information of what the interests are for visitors to the website and kind of help with uh, focusing and marketing endeavors down the road. Who's 
start at the St. Genevieve website. Generally, you know to start there, they're responding to some marketing efforts. Correct. Otherwise, they would be coming from some other website to our website. So that, Correct. That number <coughs> reflects the product of our marketing. Correct. <coughs> Anyone have any questions? Reporter information? Okay. Wanna go with the road closures? Yeah. yeah. Go that way. Uh, we don't have any for the certified. Uh, we do not have any major changes from last year to this year as far as road closures are concerned. We are very excited though. Uh, as of an hour ago, we have confirmed 132 vendors. Uh, and with 166 boots. We have several vendors that have multiple boots. Last year we had 110 vendors, so we're already above where we were for last year's Zertified. Now this 132, we still have about 10 additional vendors that are trying to get in here at the last minute, so we're trying to work with them. Uh, we have um, started at, we, I know uh, Brenda, Joan, and Jamie are out tonight uh, working in Moses Austin but we were also looking at adding an additional street that we haven't used in the past couple of years, and that's Second Street, and getting vendors up there. Just because we've had such a great turnout, and I know the weather being nice this weekend is really helping to bring some of those extra folks in. Uh, advertising, I, I did the advertising for the Zertifet, and we have an excellent representation, 60 to 60 plus miles out. Uh, the, Tim Conley was also able to work out a deal with Channel 5 and the Zertifet Committee and we have some television spots that have been running uh, during the Olympics, so we've had some good representation there. In addition to that, we own those, well, the Jordan Effect Committee now owns those what, those ads, and we'll be able to use them in subsequent years. Uh, well, there were, I believe, 18 spots and they were in a mixture of days, somewhere in prime time, somewhere in the morning, uh, you know, but they were all in very high um, listeners or wide viewerships. Right. They were all in good spots. Nothing in the middle of the night. Yeah, that's what I was You know, and they really did. They really did a good job. They Tim did a good job. This is old roses right here. Uh, can you make an announcement when the next uh, tourism meeting is? Um, next Friday? Yes, it is. The next tourism, 17 is the next tourism advisory council meeting. I believe it would be 930. Yeah. We're back to the 930 schedule. And anyone who's interested is welcome to. Here at City Hall. Here at City Hall. Uh, right here. Uh -huh. Right here. Uh, oh, right here? By the GNSC, yeah. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Yeah, because this is the Lutheran Church, right? And this is the bank. Hey, 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 uh, questions on the third yes. street. What, Absolutely. How far is that closed? Is that closed from uh, market to merchant, or is it closed from South Gabri all the way to Jefferson? Yeah, where Jefferson. is it? Third street Usually, it's just that That's, two block area. Isn't it? It, it is. It's just closing access to merchant and market from Third Street. Okay. okay. Third Street itself will be open. All right. So Third Street okay. is closed. I see. It's just so people right still there. drive through there? Yes. Yeah. Market merchant. Yeah, in front of Amble? No. So third, yeah, it's yeah, a long time since they closed that. Well, yeah. that's where the, you know, that's a shady spot. That would be nice for booths there. Remember they used to put um, booths in there? Yeah. Any other questions? Used to. Used to. Okay. okay. This question about the street closures is pretty much the same as it's always been. I think we need to so just vote on the uh, <laughs> all in favor of street closures as presented. Aye. 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 Oh, I, I made a motion. I made a motion. I second. Who yeah. <laughs> seconded it? Sean. Sean. Okay. So, one more time, all in favor of street closures? Aye. 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 Opposed? No. <clears throat> Thank you. Any committee reports? Well, the sign committee met Monday, and uh, like Martin uh, said, that uh, we talked about the bid proposals and sending out a bid request. Don't we have the money uh, for the signage? And uh, so we're wait on that to come back. We're meeting again Monday, and we'll be talking about and, and going over to make sure that the 
the, the signs or what we want, you know, as far as the arrows and what we're identifying as far as getting the, <coughs> the tourists to the mall. Since uh, we will be replacing signs that are currently up for the ferry and for the school district, uh, we consulted with uh, the superintendent who said that sign and with the chairman of the uh, <coughs> port authority who agreed. And uh, the kiosk, the informational, you are here, this kiosk will, will be going in the area the city owns uh, east of the museum that's currently being planted and maintained by Joe Tro. Uh, I spoke with Donna Marler, who kind of coordinates the gardeners. Uh, and she, she thought that was a wonderful idea. And I will <coughs> speak, coordinate with Joan when we, as we're doing the construction about relocating plants and seeing how she wants us to, to manage it. Great. Is that, uh, or in that bid, is that, that are we putting the signs up? No, or they'll, they'll be installed. No, installed. no, no. Um, well, these signs, these, these well, kiosks. Well, the signs going, like right. that, we're having the, the they're, they're company that's going to install those signs. And it's all on our right away. We don't have any of those signs there. No, we're just taking down. They're all going in places where they're existing signs. Okay. Hmm. My only concern was if we're replacing a sign that some other organization or institution put up, we should make sure, sure. they're on board. There they are. Great. Yeah. Anybody else? Yeah. It's a lot to write, Carolyn. <laughs> okay, um, we'll go to approval of the minutes of July the 26th, the regular meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And the minutes of the closed session of July the 26th. Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, resolution 2012-58, a resolution reappointing Mickey Ketting to the St. Genevieve Landmarks Commission. Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Resolution 2012-59, a resolution authorizing the bowling alley benches to be declared surplus property. Move to approve. Second. Um, I was told these things are in the basement, uh, and they're like plastic or something. They are. They're molded chairs. Okay. Um, can we use them anyplace else? Uh, well, they're not suitable for outside outdoors. use. They're not suitable for outside no. use. And okay. I, I can't think of any. I was thinking any, dog park or something. No, they, they wouldn't work wouldn't outside. I haven't, I haven't seen them, so uh, it's got to be inside. did have some okay. interest, John, at their, Alderman Stubbe had called me um, before they were surplus and said maybe a church needed them, and then I never, would, that, that didn't go mm. through. So I figured we'd go ahead and declare them surplus. If there is a, a community not-for-profit organization or it, it could use them, that would be a good good use for them. But we can't do anything with them until we just clear them surplus. Okay. Roughly how many? Put one out of the tournament this week. <laughs> well, there are, um, I gotta think, I got pictures of them. They're, they're, they're not independent. They're, they're groups. Seven, one straight section, of seven seats, one straight session of 14 seats, and four curved sections with eight seats per section. Pretty much going to cut in half to get out. I don't know. I remember bowling down there. Well, not bowling. Yeah. But, um, especially long I was figuring on putting on there's a, a, a public surplus auction site. Take a picture and put it on Craigslist. They'll come get them. <laughs> well, I'm going to do this public auction thing they because they be they'll handle vintage. payments and everything, you know, for. They got to be vintage, don't they? I mean, how old are they? Yeah, fifties. Fifties, yeah. Yeah, I thought they would be okay if if they weren't all. You, know, you got you got to buy seven or fourteen. You know, I mean, I, I, I thought the same thing. Some people would use these, but they're such <laughs> funky con con configurations, and I'm not. Uh, 
But anyway, I, I yeah, I mean, I put them on Craigslist. Okay, so we need whatever. to. Whatever. You, you need a motion. Call for the question. Uh, yeah, motion. Yeah, motion All motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, uh, an old business, new business, bill number 3880, first reading. An ordinance amending chapter 205, animals of the code of ordinances of the city of St. Denis, Missouri. Do we, do we change those uh, couple things we were I, talking I, about? Well, the only change that I recall you making was the licensing. Mm -hmm. And so I put a provision in there that it be prorated and that uh, they all come due <laughs> on the same uh, same month. Okay. I think I have it as January. Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> Yeah. Bill number 3881, first reading. An ordinance authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with CE Contracting Incorporated in the amount of $157,756 for the St. Genevieve Safe Routes to School Project. Who approved? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Now we'll still have to wait for the state because that's that contract was submitted to them so we can't even though you've authorized it we have mm -hmm. to wait for the, the department of transportation to sign off on it we don't need a second reading on this one would help would hurt move for a second reading let's get this going yeah second all in favor of second reading aye, aye. aye. opposed okay second reading bill number 3881 an ordinance authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with CE Contracting Incorporated in the amount of $157,756 for the St. Genevieve Safe Routes to School project. Move to approve. Second. Second. Mm -hmm. yeah. Roll call. Alderman Skaggs. Yes. Alderwoman Zerwig. Yes. Alderman Stoopy. Yes. Alderman Jokerst. Yes. Alderman Steiger? Yes. Alderman Okenfus? Yes. Alderwoman Broomfield? Yes. Alderman <laughs> Ross? Yes. Eight yes, zero nice. no's. Bill number 3881 now becomes Ordinance 3819. So do we have a, do we know about when the state's going to? I mean, I think <laughs> limbo for you send it to them, and you, we haven't heard that there are any problems. We placed a call to Joe Gable, the engineer who's coordinating, and as of today, he hadn't heard a word, <coughs> which may be good news. It means they didn't find anything wrong with it. But uh, yeah. I just, it seems to me they ought to be able to turn it around. They've had it now for, well, since our, since we've, four years. Two days after yeah. we, we uh, awarded the bid. So they've had it a couple of weeks now. Okay. Bill number 3882, first reading. An ordinance approving a budget amendment to the City of St. Genevieve fiscal year 2012 budget relating to the debt service fund number 050. Yeah. This amendment is necessitated by the refinancing. The dollar figures, even though we're saving a bunch of money, uh, didn't come out to be the same per month. So the amount we budgeted for this year is being slightly we've gone over it because of change, change in the monthly payments. Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And bill number 3883, first reading. An ordinance approving a budget amendment to the City of St. Genevieve fiscal year 2012 budget relating to the general fund number 010. This is necessitated by the grant that um, was received for uh, Brenda to go to a training conference. We get 100% reimbursement, but in order for the budget to balance, we have to, re to restore or put that money in her, in her budget. Is this the one that she is hosting here? No, this is she and Nikki went to. Oh, okay. Uh, right. uh, have we heard back from the other one? If she... uh, I have not okay. heard back from that. We'll get approved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? What do you think about second reading? Yeah, that's over. Right? I mean, yeah, you had the other one. Probably wait. Wait. I, I can't think of a reason. There's no no, ben, no benefit by yeah. two readings here. That's what I asked. Okay. <coughs> okay any uh, public comments? Um, 
Um, other business? I've got one, Mayor. Um, we had a, a work session tonight. Do we have an a, agenda for which departments we're going to be going over? Uh, in what I days? was going to okay. suggest that we do that now. So, mm -hmm. thank you. Okay. Um, we have a, we need to set a, a date. Uh, you know, I, if you want to see them in a certain order, we can certainly do that. Uh, I will tell you that uh, 911 board has requested an increase. Uh, we, we have been paying them 15500 and they've asked it to go to 23500 I think it's an $8,000 increase. Uh, and they want to be heard. So, you know, we, if, whenever we set up our schedule, we need to... Oh, I'm sorry. What did I say? 798. Oh, that was cheap for them. That was cheap. Cheap for 911. Uh, so we need to, uh, to just give them time on, on, on whatever date we we have uh, to, for, for that. I mean, we asked for all the departments to come in and, and speak during their department time, do we not? Yeah. That's your decision, but yes, that would be a good decision. Absolutely. Yeah. We've always, we always have that. I just don't, do you have any preference as to, well, let's, let's decide when we want to meet. Any time next week? Thursday. 15th. Well, they got court next Thursday. Firehouse? We can meet somewhere else. If, if Thursday's a good night. We Probably time to get out the firehouse, yeah. Meet earlier in the week? I can, uh, Wednesday? You know, I'm at your disposal. Wednesday we good. Okay, hold on. I, I, won't, I won't be here Thursday. What time will we meet Wednesday? What day is Wednesday? 15th. Oh. Wednesday or Thursday either would be okay for me. Wednesday? Wednesday would be great. Time? What time? Six? Six. Six. That would make it land at six. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll be pushing it. But I might make it. Uh, you want to put 911, oh, 798? <laughs> <laughs> uh, first on the agenda at six? Yeah. That'd be fine. Okay, and then I'll just arrange with the uh, staff to come in in whatever order they can. And we'll do it for us. And firehouse is fine. Well, isn't it open we here? We do it here. Yeah, we can do it here. Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday night's open Wednesday. here. Yeah, yeah. Thursday. Thursday night's open. Oh, we're on Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday night? night? Yeah. Well, that's a good place to meet, though, the firehouse. There's a change of pace. They're all there Wednesday night, so we'll, oh, that's we'll, right, we'll be so. here. That's probably more comfortable, Carl. Yeah. It's a firehouse. No, I mean here. If they have free drinks out there. Well, I would say we can carry the water. They got water here. Good water. No, that's fine. So we're doing here Wednesday here at six. Wednesday here at six. And I'll bring water. <laughs> Are you gonna have like a time limit, half hour, hour? I think most past city administrators always brought pizza too, didn't they? Pizza. I always no, no, they ordered it and they paid for it when it got out. <laughs> I uh, you didn't hear that. You didn't hear about that. Yeah, I mentioned that about tonight since we were meeting at five, and I thought maybe Alliance would volunteer. But they didn't. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. You got to do it. <laughs> What's going on there? Wednesday? They will Wednesday, he said. He's coming in Wednesday. He'll write us with Does he come in Wednesday? I, bring I uh, well, we I can't speak that, for him. We'll have that information, the updated uh, rates for, uh, for Wednesday. Yeah, I'm going to try really hard to have that done by Monday. We'll have something to uh, we'll have something to eat one way or the other. <laughs> okay, Wednesday at six. Anything else? Any other business? No, I would say not. No. All right. Don't have any. That don't have anything else. All right. Okay. Move to adjourn. Second. No, so, no. Okay. just want to thank we, everybody we, we, we for have the, being here working hard. It's a are, long are we gonna have new, time to uh, sit. Are we going to have new budgets yeah. then for the meetings by Monday? Uh, yes. For those departments that you're going to have show up so on six at, Wednesday. for here? The, uh, yeah. By, yeah, before the meeting, you will have a Monday. To be, I'll try and get them by Monday. At least Tuesday. Tuesday, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. See, my problem is Sue. Yeah. 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 She's not going to be here tomorrow. And if they can get them out Tuesday night, that'd be great. I don't know if she'll be back in Tuesday or not. Mm -hmm. Everything changes, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, 
well, not even just water and sewer, but all the departments had their um, expanded budgets, there. expanded budgets in here. Those aren't. I mean, that that won't change. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna make the adjustments for parks okay. because she just didn't do that. Okay. Um, you know, the the changes in the operational budgets are gonna be based on your decisions. Yeah. And, uh, so, so just really, really salary. Yeah. yeah, you're right. right. But salary information, if you could have. I'll have the salary information. Prior. On the, on the Call for the question. <laughs> okay. We got a motion to adjourn. Motion. It's just the budget. It's just the most important document you pass okay. all year. All right. You're going to get plenty of time. Um, all in favor? Chairman? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you.